perfect timing for another coughing storm to pop up. Uh, Alright, everyone, who welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Helene today, along with. First Matrix here at your service. And welcome to, well, <laughs> the 69th Showcase Sunday before. Uh, you know, before something Sunday, but yeah, brain fart there. And uh, oh, I forgot to bring these up again, just to be double sure. There we go, got them in sight. Task manager and the voice chat. Not the voice chat, the chat program, so I can keep an extra eye on things. And uh, yeah, welcome to Showcase Sunday, where we'll be, we'll be trying a few games. Generally four, sometimes more. That actually rhymes, I'm going to keep that. Uh, for about half an hour each. And uh, yeah, the first one we're starting with is Welcome to Basingstoke, or Basingstoke. Which is actually related to another, ga another game. I don't think it's a series. I think there's only one more. Uh, I, though I forget the name of it. It has something to do with Titans. But this game play basically plays as a sort of sequel, not sequel, prequel to it. And, uh, yeah, I will say... Uh, I forgot something. We'll be trying the, uh, these games to see if they're any good for streaming later. Um... But yeah, I, I have played this game before to technically its end. Uh, it doesn't have too much story, so we might skip from this one pretty quickly. If, well, the Kyrus wants to move on to the next one. But uh, yeah, let's start at the campaign. Okay. And yeah, we have different uh, classes here. I guess it... Hmm. I thought I had more of these unlocked, but... I guess not. So let's let that back with the randomizer a few times. Okay, it's not that random. It's more going through a few, or maybe the options are just. Oh well. Uh, we can start as the office clerk, uh, Lloyd, <laughs> but they, this starts with no bonus items. This game is a roguelite uh, to a degree. And yeah, each of these classes will start with their own things. And okay, it has. Oh, okay, I did not get to the end. Okay. Uh, there is somewhat of a story in this game, but there's not too much of it. So let's see. Let's just start from the start. And I have my controller connected. We'll see if that will take effect in a second now. And speaking of any second, we're starting the timer. All right. And I also just realized something when looking at this game. Mm -hmm. You know, I said it might be tricky to do a, a month uh, with Alone in the Dark, with your work schedule. Yeah. yeah. The word I cannot pronounce. <laughs> I realized we could just turn we could just done something some uh, showcase some days with spooky thing games. Yeah. Let's see. Place taking a visitor pass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can look around with the mouse, move around with WASD, we can run with shifts. And Okay, what what are you supposed to be a rabbit? Maybe? It yeah, <laughs> we stole that guy's sandwich. Can we feed? Okay, they actually do go after that. It... And now they all want it. it... Uh... That is actually a bit of a tutorial that I missed originally through, but yeah, we... We know things are going to go to hell, and this is just showing you that you can use sandwiches as a distraction. <laughs> In a handbasket? Yeah, oop. Oh, that's a mirror. <laughs> For a moment I thought we ran into someone who came running out. Okay. Ninth basement floor. Oh, that was supposed to be out of order. Okay. Emergency exits. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Use only in extreme emergencies. Remove hazmat suit. Do not use if contaminated. Like that isn't a bad sign at all. 
the, the stupid elevator music. It's you know, what the heck? The game is the game is a bit undersized for me and uh Can we just chuck a sandwich at it and make it go away? And you lot shouldn't be fucking with whatever that is. So... <laughs> Let's just, just get a hazmat. If there are no suits available, please report to control. And they're all in use. Okay. Okay, our, our character is freaking out quite a bit, judging by the, the just how everything is vibrating. So it has an insanity system? Uh, not really, but it's already gone. In. Let's see, remove a smat suit, proceed for contamination check. Okay. Oh. Well, uh... Okay. Not my fault. Are you sure? Good thing we weren't looking at that or we would have been blinded, I'm pretty sure. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Hell in the hand baskets, it definitely is. Okay, Helian, I had to say this. Welcome to how I feel sometimes after returning from just grabbing a sandwich. <laughs> Just finding you done all this. Uh, oh no. The, okay, just a more good words. You realize he's still holding a sandwich. So, <laughs> is this basically me working for you? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not stay in the fire. Us. Oh, lighting. There. Let's see. We found a torch. Lights your way. Tap space to turn on off. Highlights loot, but makes you more visible. Here we go. Uh, oop. Uh, let's see. Is this closed? Yeah, that's closed. Okay. It has been a bit since I played this game, so I'm likely to be... Well, I likely need to read everything through just as much as anyone else here. Uh, oh, wait. That's just the same room. Ah, here, the, the wall is busted open. Okay, I... I might can I resize the window a bit on my end? Because it is looking pretty tiny. Let's just stretch it to about 920, 1080. There we go. That makes things a lot more visible. It was about half size for me. And now now the character way further away from me. But I can see the torch like icon and all that now. Actually I can be I can see icons I did not see before. So I'm pretty good that you did that. Yep. There's a door here. Highlighted with blue. So we see it to find. Oh. And uh Yeah. Zombies. <laughs> Not your normal zombies, I suspect. Nope. You... Yep, run, run, run. <laughs> What are those things in there? Oh, they're over there. And yeah, as okay, a sausage roll, sandwich, another sausage roll. Can we distract? Ooh. Oh, we, we threw that into the wall. Threw food away. Well, the zombie is going after it. It went after it. 
There we go. Get that sausage roll. And let's see if we can keep, keep these two alive. I don't know if that, that does anything at all. Okay. Nope. It's done eating. Wait, wait, wait. What is a sausage roll? Uh, probably just a, well, a sausage in bread. Uh, you mean uh, like uh, those... Uh... Doesn't look like a baguette, but it's basically like a tube you put a sausage inside. Yeah. Uh, that would be oh, more like a hot dog, I think, what you're talking about. There's some yeah, stuff over the, there. The I think you should... It, it translation lies be, is it lies be, we call them French dogs. Oh. Okay, I see. We need, we need to go past it. Oop. To get to the exits, let's chuck that there for them to find. Yes, yes, we, we get it. We need to get out. Just shut up already. Oop. You just snack on that. Yep. Well, so much for those two. The heck, alien? But that wasn't my doing. Did the... oh, hello there. You say that as you get yourself burnt. <laughs> Okay, let's just get out as quickly as we can. Okay, we need a key card. Yep. And, yeah. This is why we need to go looking through places, because to actually get to the end of the level, or to get through it, you need a code or something. And, oh, goop. It's a bunch of zombies. Uh -oh. Did, did, did you see what he just said? Uh, no, I did see that he got squished by the doors again, though. And, oh, the, the special one. He, he, he just said, I got a good feeling about this, then got squished. Yeah. And uh, now that I look about <laughs> it, it, it really does look like those uh, pre-made hot dogs you can buy. Huh. And that's the intro done. Holy, uh, this this game is interesting. Yeah, it it is interesting, but in my opinion, it drags out uh, it drags out a tad too long with things. And yeah, we won't yeah. be we don't be won't be doing runs like that all the time because we stealth will be our greatest ally. Okay. We got some cash because they, we can buy things at the uh, shops. Uh, what would be the correct word of the, uh, those vending machines at, in the walls? Hey, okay, sandwich. Uh, uh, I just noticed something. Was that the symbol for pound? Yep, because this takes place in Britain. <laughs> and we can hide oh, in places like this. Dear. Okay. A nice little detail. Oh. Okay. There's one over there. There's one over there. If we're not using the lights, we are a lot harder to see. But, well, we can't find what bodies have loot and such. And, yeah, they're green eye. Oh, we got the key already. It is completely random where those and uh, where those exit keys or codes are, I believe. Uh, let's not move in front of it. So that's actually a really lucky find, I think. Though the levels do get longer the further you uh, get into things. Hold it. The cars are literally boxes. Yeah, a little box car. Uh, let's see. We have a map. These maps are randomized, I believe. And let's see. Our objective is over there. Wheelie bins where we can hide in are marked as well. And... Okay. We can't put down markers. It is just moving about. Okay. Uh, yeah. We will only know a general direction of our exit... 
So we will just have to find our way over there. Ooh. The other one's lit up. See, I can hear plenty around, but I'm not seeing any inside. So, okay, just some change. Really, Helian? You need to remove the skull from the rest of the body with a full policeman. Let's see, is there anything in here? Or is... Okay, this does go through. Now, it's not like he's alive enough to complain about it. Okay. Oh, dear. Using quick flashes, we can get a glance at where loot might be. Oh, dear. And sticky tape. This game is... It's quite spooky. Yeah, fitting, make, making it rather fitting. Yeah, what's that? Uh, oh, works, and there's no ent, ent, no entry thing. Oh, it's just that the entire place is blocked off. Oh dear. Okay. Also about spooky thing. I'm kind of glad that more ga people are trying to make SCP Foundation games, and apparently mm -hmm. there's one that's apparently very good. I've heard that uh, I've heard that there's a, a new ones uh, releasing really soon. Oh, it's not just one. Okay, there's the one that goes line. in chapters, which is, you, which is probably the one you're thinking of. Mm. However, there's also another one that's uh, on the works. Okay. Is they, this is a another kind of SCP. SCP they, 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 they take a lot of different twists, but they, it makes sense for this SCP in particular. Endless Ikea. Oh, that one. They are making... Someone's making a survival horror of that. <laughs> well, it does fitting for the people who know of that SCP. Uh, basically, the short version is... Uh, if someone gets lost in an Ikea, there's a good... There's a chance they can end up... Well in a pocket dimension of an infinite Ikea, which that there supposedly are exits, but there's few who have been known to get out, actually get out. Yeah, probably it's, it's just one Ikea that, that, that it has the endless, and if you get lost, you get lost. Has the why the SCP Foundation quarantined away the entire building, okay. so no one else enters. It has been a bit However, since I read of that. Yeah, I would this point with it. Is this, this is connected to different alternate realities? It says people who met other people that have noticed that. The... Well, as an example, one person met another American who had never heard of, heard of uh, the Liberty Statue. <laughs> okay. And that, that, yeah. that enough should tell you how messed up it is there. Uh, yeah. What we can pick up weapons to actually use as well. Well, we found a pool cue. It's, they will break if you know, if we use them too much, though. Well, they, they are sticks, so yes. Makes sense. Oh, and also another thing about the end is Ikea. Don't approach the staff. Yeah. <laughs> See, nothing here. Like, they are semi-harmless on day unless you provoke them, but at night, they will chase you and repeatedly shunt Please exit the store. Yeah, when it's in nearly impossible to do so. Yeah, they basically look like... Uh, they look, look like a slender man if they worked as mm -hmm. an I IKEA employee. There's one in there. Their, their eyes are dead giveaways, but some of them will be wearing hats or helmets, like the soldier in there or a police officer we dodged earlier, which makes it harder oh. to see them. Yeah, that, that, that's... I can see that actually become a, for once, a challenge with hats. Uh, ooh, kebab. Mm. Let's see. Ooh, there's a body there. I should probably try and buy those breads again sometime, but... Yeah, I, I, I hope those kind of breads in stores are better than the ones you get in schools. Ooh. That every time you try to stuff them with kebab, they break apart. Yeah, that can be quite an issue with them. Some yeah, hairspray. That's why I hope that the, the ones you buy in stores are 
better. Now, the ones I've had from stores have been pretty good. You still need to be a bit careful with them, but... Uh, uh, the way we do it with them is that we make... Uh, we, well, we don't make them wet, but we do sprinkle them with a bit of water. And then we uh, put them in a toaster to heat them up. There's okay, a hell of so a basically there. bake them a bit extra to puff them up. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's so, a not bad idea. And yeah, the water, this sprinkling with water is to ensure that they don't crack. Okay, 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 that is smart. That is smart. Uh, I'm mostly just used to tilia bread. We have some darts that we could throw. Uh, where is that? There's the pool, pool queue. Okay. This one is on our way. So... No, oh, we actually knocked it out. <laughs> what? Oh, it There's only no... one... Uh, let's just get out. Uh, where do we need to head? All the way over there. Okay. Let's see. I, I like that the torch actually lights up when we activate it. Yeah, that's ve there's a lot of nice details here. Really? Danger of death? Well, can you argue against it? Uh, not really. Uh, let's see. Exit. Something's ahead. There's a body with something. Cell. Oh, oh, batteries. Yeah, there will there will be different weapons with ammo types, including electric weapons. And uh, looks like we've dodged most of the hordes. I don't wonder. Uh, are the British police helmets protected? I. I think they're more hats or caps than actual helmets. Oh, there's yeah, the code. I, I guess the ones uh, in the past were probably a bit more protective and they were probably a bit made more of something more sturdy. Yeah. Oh, and here's our first case of a one-way door. Which we really have to keep an eye out for, especially if we get cornered. Okay, there's a few zombies here. I thought I could jump over that. Let's see. Yeah, we'll... When red light shows, wait here. Yeah, I think we can keep waiting until the cows come home with how everything has gone to hell. Yeah. I'm actually trying to remember the other SCP game that is new, which you probably have talked about, that we come in chapters. I forgot what. What was that one called? I I saw footage of one recently. Oh, that's a bad. Uh. I, I know Captain uh, Mr. Falcon and IGP and some others have played it and just said it was wonderful. Uh, something with and the red team or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the hanged king. Uh, yeah, that. Okay, there. But that was supposed to be the first chapter of many chapters for. I think you take part as many different operatives in each of these stories set in that universe. Yeah, because <laughs> SCP operatives tend to have a rather short uh, uh, lifespan when things go uh, to hell. Yeah. Let's see. That's the exit. Some more hairspray. All of these items can be used to make things, but I don't think we have any recipes yet. No, we have recipes. Uh, let's see. In crafting, we could make an aiming laser or targeting sights. So it doesn't actually say what they do. Can we... For what? We don't even have there a gun! Or do we? Cannot be used directly, attached to certain guns. 
Oh, wait, did we... Yeah, we ended up making one. Okay. Hmm. CP lighter. Uh oh. Are you planning to turn that into a flamethrower? Yeah, we could try. We could probably try that. Though we can't hold two things at once. Uh, oh. For now. Just shock. Not that nope. far. There. Oh, those were zombies. Okay. And yeah, the growing circle from the from the lure items is probably how far away they will attract uh, the undead. Let's see. Yes, yeah, that's that's a light. <laughs> oh dear. We've oh dodged dear. most of them. Dead end. I'm pretty sure that oh, we've been detected. That doesn't mean we're dead yet, though, since they tend to lose interest quickly enough, especially once they can't see us anymore. Let's see. Okay, we could use these for a different light source, probably to attract less attention. Uh, okay, I'm very curious what happened for... You send these kind of apocalypse with zombies, you don't find this many people just lying dead around at the office desk and all that. If I remember correctly, what happened was that basically they managed to rip open a space... <laughs> a hole in space-time. And, uh, yeah, things came through that uh, weren't too welcome here, or weren't too friendly with natural life. There's a bunch over there. Oh. So... Uh, what? Uh, what? Okay, for some reason, for some reason the computer off tapped to the chat program there for a moment. Hmm. Okay, weird. Okay. Yeah, we we can get pretty close, but we're we're not getting to that body with him there. And it's pretty obvious when they do notice you because they start getting real agitated. Now, let me. That's the timer. Okay. What is the the keep left really? Just gotta go fix the thing. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch here. Um. Okay, we have plenty of sandwiches. So we could just chuck one down and sprint for the entrance. Let's explore a bit more. Maybe we can get around them. And, yeah, of course we can hide in those bins to lose our... <clears throat> to lose any pursuers as well. Nope. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> I've forgotten that some of these cars actually have their alarms active still. And that one's heading straight for us. Actually, if we set this off then... Yep. Then we just run all the way around. I'm hoping this will work. Oop, something in there. Sausage roll. Okay, yeah, they're falling for it. Yeah, that, that shows that... Uh, in games like Left 4 Dead... Oop. Like setting off an alarm is, of course, the worst thing that you can do. But in here, we can use it to lure zombies away from us. Okay. Let's unlock this. And in. There we go. Well done. And welcome back. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, th this is a nice game. 
But as I said, it drags on for quite a bit. And let's see. Yeah, we have our own inventory with stuff that we actually bring in. And then we have stuff in our stash that we, well, have stashed. Um, yeah, let's save and quit here. Like, like I said, though, it does drag on for quite a while. And, but, um, as you continue on, you will find more, uh, more, more, more variation in the uh, zombies and such to make, uh, well, to add to the challenge. There. Yeah. Uh, I'll put this as a maybe, I think. Uh, it does yeah. drag on, but. It would it could be quite interesting yeah it's not a very long game is it uh well you saw how many levels there were but like i said it it, is, it does tend to drag on so it mm, i'll have to check how it, actually i can do that right now uh and, and the flashbang ah! for here there again because the browser opened up in the same place uh let's see how long to beat and then basingstoke See, five and a half hours. I, I very much doubt that. I, I, how many? How much time do I have in that game already? Uh, close that. Steam. Basingstoke. How many hours? Twelve point two hours. So yeah, <laughs> that's either that's someone doing a speed run or bullshitting their time. Anyways, really good to, at it. <laughs> on to game number two, which has... All right. Well, with this one, I can say we are streaming this eventually. We'll just have to find a spot to put it in. Also, I should do this. Hide that away for a moment. Okay, still on no disturb there. And... Okay, some people... Some people I know are playing the Dark Tides beta. And the yeah. Wait. Bastion. Oh, not, not confused. I, I know Giant Super Giants made this game recently yep. and such. Uh, recently I learned that it was them making this. And I heard people loving it. Thanks to uh let's see, Wonderbot. Keep praising it. But I had zero clue Warner Brothers was also part of this. Uh, let's see. Will my controller connect to this? No. Oh, well. It works better with mouse anyways, I think. Uh, let's see. What? No sweat mode. Start a new game with unlimited chances to carry on if defeated. For less experience. Okay. New game plus. And score attack. Uh, let's just start a new. Existent danger will be lost. That's fine. A bit annoying that the game doesn't have multiple save slots, but oh well, that's been more of a recent thing. supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. And yeah, that's the most prominent feature that people remember from this game, the narrator. He gets up, hey. sets off for the bastion. Where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Yeah, the narrator will actively respond to some things we do, like, uh, uh, can we do it here? And then he falls to his death. I'm just fooling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Recognize that voice. I don't know if they've done... I don't know what other work they have done. I do know that they made a <laughs> an announcer voice pack for uh, Dota 2. But beyond that, I don't actually know what else they might have done. Uh, you mean the narrator? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure we know several Super Giant games. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure... He there's a good chance he probably did voices for those as well, but I don't remember them. Well, it's a touching reunion. And, uh, yeah, you're going... Well, we're both going to have a bit of competition with the narrating. The rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant.
And yeah, it is just it is pretty fancy how everything just builds up in front of you, huh? Ooh, yeah. No man. It's a gas fella forced out from underground. Okay, Does combat this is simple. Fuse. Starts to feel as bruises though. Let's think of fuse over Warner Brothers being part of this. Hmm. I, I I would understand Warner Brother games. Is a, and if, I, I'm not surprised there is one. I didn't know there was, but I'm not surprised. I, I, I would expect one of the games to be part of something like uh, Batman or such, but Bastion? We'll have to look. I don't know. I think this was Supermassive's first game, so it could just be that they had needed Warner Brothers as a publisher. After. Yeah. But Stiff is weird if you think about it. You expect them to do it. If it was a game of one of the movies. But this one doesn't have a movie, I think. No, not at all. It just makes it more confusing, doesn't it? <laughs> like, I, I'm happy Warner Brothers agreed to have published this, but. You have to agree with me. It does feel a bit weird. Sometimes you just need a drink. Yeah, we can refill these health tonics, which will, of course, refill our health. Let's see. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Okay, yeah, we can have two weapons at any time with us. Well, and of course, the first we fire with left mouse, the other with right. Let's see. Crystal Beret. You found a memento from a girl he knew. I always use the fans here. Let's see. City Crest, Memento. An identification badge from the old days. All those in official business for the city bear the star of Celadonia. It is said to represent warmth, labor, and sacrifice. And then the Crystal Beret. Wherever you're supposed to say that. A memento, a fashion, a, fashion, a fashion accessory covered in soot, holds great value of the sentimental variety, also hangs hair firmly in check. Best hang on to it just in case. Oh, more of these. And that tonic went into the abyss. No the old saloon still standing. Used to have the nicest view. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Okay, Selandia. That's the word. Okay. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Security yep. takes him for a petty thief. I think this speaks for itself what the shield does. And as you can tell, that those what, the circle around it is its health. Yeah, if we break these boxes before they pop out. We get, we, well, we defeat them before they become active. Thank you. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Hey, ooh, that, that is a bunch. Oh. And. That's dead. Okay, luckily we had a revive. Okay. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Uh, over here, he means. And, uh... Yeah, this is what happened to people who were less lucky. 
Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Yeah, there's a stone or actual ash? I get yes. Yeah, a mixture of both. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Space plans completely. <laughs> okay. New weapon, charge and release. Kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Yep. If you have the flickering, that's when it turns into a power shot for I don't know how much more damage, but it is more damage at the very least. The kid pockets a memento from the breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. An upgrade material for the breaker's bow. A stretch of Mies guts prized by bowyers and pelt ball fans. One more reason for the popularity of Mies hunting. Okay, whatever the hell a Mies is. Gideon, you don't know what the... Gideon! Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aim it for the kid. Moose! Yeah. I think it it sounds more like they were hunting... Uh, yes. Yeah, Moose is the multiple of Moose. But it sounded more like they were hunt... Some bird or something. You know people do hunt mooses, uh, moose, right? Yeah. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. Okay. Special attacks which use up the other tonics. Yep. Speaking of. And consider how strong this bow is. Um. Yeah, you're probably gonna need a, a very strong bow to take down a moose. Yeah. And when oh, when the power shot is ready, it's not just the kid who flashes; the cursor does as well. It it, it is a kid, right? Yeah. It, uh, it's it's hard to think it's a kid with the sound. Right next to the arsenal. It, it's the kid isn't the narrator. No, that it, it, I, I hear the, the character grunting. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. And here is where we can equip, well, <laughs> these uh, drinks for bonuses, like max health, plus 10% crit chance, active only when at full health. Okay. And absorb stray fragments. Let's see. Okay, take this character must be at least 18. Yeah, could be that. Yeah, it could just be that. Uh, it could also be that the, it could just be that uh, the narrator, who we'll meet in a bit, uh, just calls them kid because they're so much younger and, well, the narrator is quite ancient. Yeah, I can see that happen. And it is a common term in some culture that they just, even when you're 18 or 20 years old, if you're just newly recruited or you start working somewhere place or something like that, they will call you the kid. Yeah. Let's see. Squirt cider, fermented squirt extract with a nose of stale bread and ocean water. Very nutritious. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> yeah. A pungent concoction that calms senses and steadies nerves. Favored by the breakers and other fighting forces. And started as a barroom prank, but evolved to become popular with miners and scrap workers. Metallic aftertaste. <laughs> Let's just Wait, get some extra what? health. As we level up, we unlock more slots for these, and we will also find more drinks to add. The arsenal is where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Mm, yeah, here is where we can pick our weapons it isn't you don't have to stick to a melee weapon and a ranged weapon you can go with two melee weapons or two ranged weapons but in general i'll probably be sticking with a melee and a ranged when we get to fully streaming this game 
And here's the skill. Let's see. Dancing shots. A secret breaker technique that causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. Originally intended only for a spectacle, but it proved to have practical uses. Okay. And of course, these are linked to weapons. A uh, furious spinning strike that can uh, damage multiple foes. Originally developed by the City Mason's Wrecking Teams. And then we have Bolt Burst for the repeater. A spiral of bolts that deals damage in every direction. Trappers would rely on this technique in the event they got surrounded. Okay. Can we read a bit? Yes, we can read a bit on these as well. Let's start from the bottom. The Kale Hammer, or however you're supposed to say that. There's Celandia Sir Sail Hammer? Well-balanced melee weapons, stationary attacks with it are more powerful. Heavy-duty hammers such as this constructed uh, Ceylon, uh, Ceylondian... Uh, Ce I'm going to have trouble pronouncing that uh, uh, every time. Uh, Ceylondia's famous rippling walls and protects them from the elements and foes alike. The Fang Repeater. Rapid-fire ranged weapon. Cannot move while firing. Reloads automatically. Munition chamber fashioned from an unlucky beast gives a distinct silhouette to these silent repeating rifles, once favored by Ura hunters. And the breaker's bow, versatile ranged weapon. Attack power increases as the bowstring is drawn. With these durable lightweight bows, Ceylondian breakers and uh, divisions re reconnoitred the farthest reaches of the land in the name of their city. Okay. Let's just stick with the hammer and bow and move on. I still wonder if this character is real. Is a kid, or they just uh, made him a little bit shibby. I don't know. I don't remember much being told of the kid himself. And yeah, for some reason, these things are spawners for the little guys. Yeah. That, so far, my only reason thinking he's actually a at least young adult or adult is. Trust me, I don't think. One... I oh, I missed that. That there was a statue there. Yeah, right. I was supposed to say. I doubt Warner Brothers would agree to have a kid drinking booze. Yeah. Okay. Oop. Hello, big boy. And yeah, we've got these things here as a currency or experience. I don't remember which it is. And of course, the shield is only directional. Nope. Get out, you. Yeah, things are getting a bit hectic already, huh? Yeah, what the heck? Oh, oh, yo, oh, did we have to break these open before they get out? Or if they get out? Okay. Uh, I hope the audio isn't too loud at the moment. Uh, not on my end. Something heavy. Upgrade material for the kale hammer. Or say I'll have to. We're fine. I don't think we're ever going to find out how to how to pronounce that. A chunk of a precious alloy found deep on the ground. The staple diet of gas phallus, also used in all manner of industry industry bins. And yeah. Oop. Oop. Yeah, these will get smaller the more we hit them, but they'll leave behind those goo bits. Oop. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I missed that these were here. Oop. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got full on knocked in the air. Okay, deal with you. Thank you. Oh, he's also just chipping away at the ground. Yeah, that doesn't help for us. 
There we go. And we leveled up, got more health from that. And that'll have unlocked a new slot in this distillery. Yeah, I, I think these, these function as currency, not as experience, because we get experience from fighting. Uh, yeah, once we take the item at the end of a level... Things start to go to hell. Yep, there's no reason to fight. And... Yeah, there is friendly fire among enemies, I'm pretty sure. At least with ranged attacks. Hopefully. And, yeah, this is... This is as fast as he will go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. Mm. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Ask about the blue, large bluish mineral found in the Wharf District. It feels warm to the touch and hums like a motor. What exactly does it do? to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. Okay. Crystal Beret. Ask about what happened to Ne and Asi, the girl who used to pin her hair back with this. Is she here already? Where is everyone? I tried to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Okay. As we add those crystals to the bastion, we will be able to build stuff here. Like, well, the distillery and the arsenal. Let's see. Plans for a facility oh. whose specially brewed spirits enhance one's natural abilities. You just need a place to build it. The only spirits permitted on the rippling walls were the kind that increased productivity. And then there's the arsenal. Plans for a facility that stores weapons and secret skills. You just need a place to build it. Ceylonian uh, pioneers always traveled light, lock, locking up anything they didn't need on hand. Let's start with this one. And yep, new spirits in stock. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. And let's see, hearty punch. Uh, plus one chance on to carry on if defeated. Okay, so we have, like when we got downed earlier. Damage surrounding foes if defeated. Our aromatic beverage uh, served piping hot. According to folk tales, it can almost it can almost wake the dead. Okay, Pre would Don't be pretty useful. Don't bring it to the graveyard. <laughs> Don't bring that to the graveyard. Okay, wear whiskey plus one hundred percent critical chance, but only active below thirty three percent health. Scentless, yes, very brisk beverage of boiled rattletail whisker. Used to revive patients in tree hut centers. <laughs> okay. And then there's Cinder Brick Stout. Uh, plus 33 speed while defending. Spicy, nutty flavors and a dry aftertaste. Very heavy and filling. Let's grab this one. Party punch is so zesty. It'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Okay. Actually, will he, will he comment on each of these? Not all of them. The way the voice actor speaks and comes, yeah, this character is not a child. 
Well, if, if, he, if he might be similar to the situation, like, you know, Billy the Kid. Could be, yeah. Uh, they, they all look a little bit uh, bubble heady with big heads and such. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind in the distant lands. And yeah, now we can select levels or go back to the Bastion. Uh, home base. To harness the Bastion's power, seek out cores across the city and beyond. And what have we here? Wharf this. Oh, that's the wharf with the previous level we've already cleared. And well, we can't fly to it because it's. It went crashing down into the abyss. The wharf district. Folks sail deep into the boundless sea from here. The bastion. Ceylonia's safe haven. Once the highest point in the city. Too bad it wasn't finished before the calamity struck. And then here we have the Breaker Barracks. Proving ground. Here the Breakers once honed their skills and focused with their bows. Oh, focus with their bows. The Breaker oh, that Barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. Hmm? I, I was to say, I think we should also learn how to pronounce your hammer issue. Sail hammer. Yeah, the, the A is a bit silent. Uh, yep. Hmm. And then we have the workman wards. Core detected. Find it and bring it back. There may be useful supplies here as well. The workman ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. I think this is mostly here as a challenge. Well, it, it is a proving ground after all. Probably for currency and experience. So let's go here. On the... Oh, only a minute and a half left. <laughs> now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. <laughs> Land quite literally. <laughs> Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? But yeah, like I said, we will be streaming this. Won't be no field trip this time. We will be streaming this along with um most of most of Supermassive's games eventually. We've also said that we'll be streaming Transistor. We'll just need to find a place to put them all in. Yep. <laughs> Each of the weapons have their own little tricks. And these are actually fleeing from us, the darkened ones. Oh. And yeah, this thing really goes fast. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I believe you can all... If you manage to block an attack at the right moment, you will... They, yeah, the enemies will be left open for attack. What's the squirtler? Let's see. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful at a pinch. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Okay. Uh, don't know if that would be too useful, but it would be useful as a distraction at the very least. For now, though, let's head back out, because the timer went off. And yeah, like I said, th this game is, def is uh, definitely on the yes list. Oh yeah, I can see now why. <laughs> I'll probably get my ass handed to me a few times, but that will be for then. And... Uh, I, I got just gonna go get my food, so go on speaking. <laughs> okay, starting up game number three. Okay, wait for OBS to catch it. Just waiting for him to return. <laughs> hmm. Probably something I sort of wondered long ago, but I'm not really sure if my chuckling at times can be caught 
<laughs> on the stream. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, close enough. But uh, yeah, the third game that we'll be showcasing as the representative of the Batman Arkham series, Arkham Origins. Uh, the reason I picked this one off of out of all of the four games, uh, let's see, Origins, Asylum, City, and Night. Uh, yeah, the reason I picked this one is because it's chronologically the first, even though it was the second to last released. And let me move it about a bit so it's better positioned on my screen. There we go. There you go. And back. Yep. And uh, you were talking about Batman earlier. Uh, I talked about it some day ago, says I have. I remember we were talking about it one day, and my a friend is would probably likely really watch us see this, play this. And yeah, again, this is a game that I've played before. The only way this, the only reason this is showing a recent date is because I, well, I, I opened that file instead of a new one. But let's start that a new one here. And uh, yeah, I have the DLC Cold Cold Hearts, which is highly recommended, I say. And uh, let's just start. New game. Let's leave it on normal difficulty. Subtitles on. Hints on for now, because it has been quite a while since I played this and the other Asylum games. But uh, yeah, the Batman games are also on the yes list. I'll just say that right away as well. And uh, we will likely start with this one, since it is chronologically the first. The other, th the other three games, is Asylum, City and Night, are more of a trilogy together, and this one stands alone more. And, well, like I said, it's the chronological first. Starting the timer. It doesn't really help with the code names if you're talking, if you're using them intermixed with what is actually going on. Turned on the subtitle. Oh, it. Uh, why didn't that stick? Okay. There you go. Uh, okay, so second Warner Brother Games be streaming today. Yep. <laughs> and this one uh, at least makes sense. 
definitely. I I'll say I'm not I'm not big of a DC fan. Uh, they have it. They have their pros and cons compared to Marvel and such. Uh, Marvel has been killing it with the movies lately, uh, whereas well the DC movies have been kind of falling flat on their face. Uh, the way I've described it to some people is that. Uh, uh, yeah, the way I describe the relationship between the MCU and the DCU, even though they refuse to call it that, is, uh, well, just imagine Batman clinging on to a rope attached to <laughs> Mjolnir doing donuts in a cactus field. That's how I describe the relation be between the two, because the DCU <laughs> tried to copy MCU and completely failed at it painfully. Yeah, uh, those of the they tried... This uh, reverse, they tried to copy DC characters and faith uh, horribly. They try to copy each other a lot. Yeah. And uh, there's been some good DC movies, but also some falling flat. But it has also been the same with Marvel of late. I've heard that some of the latest movies have been less favored. Yeah. Like, uh, the Ten Rings was good but others have been less so then there's also been a lot of hit and way more hit and miss with the series he noticed the shadow I think we could have missed the, the, the quick time bits there. And I think it would have been pretty hilarious if <laughs> if Batman just got his head knocked in by <laughs> by a panicked warden. I'm half tempted. Yeah. Another spoiler. Uh, I already said it. This, we will be streaming this game and the others eventually as well. But when we do, I'm highly tempted to just let him whack him there and just see what the hell happens. Yeah, uh, wait, 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 Helian, Helian. If you're to stream this, you must put on a Batman hat on you. <laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll need to figure out a blender uh, more, but uh, I'll at the very least try. Yeah, no, to so think about it, one of the more popular DC heroes is Batman. Even though they try to promote Superman as their main hero and icon, not many like Superman. Uh, the, very, the way I've been told it by fans of Superman is a lot of people don't get Superman. That, yes, he is super powerful and such, which basically means that every situation he gets put in, he wins. But, uh, the, what was it again? It's more of a personal struggle than a physical struggle with uh, Superman, since, well, he could easily just kill most of his enemies. But he chooses not to. He chooses to be the better man, which makes him supposedly super. The superpowers yeah, like, still help. Yeah, for me, it's mostly been the biggest. I think the first thing I uh, had my issue was aesthetic. Like, uh, yeah, just look at look at the. Uh, I've never liked the hero trooper to have a suit and had basically the underwear on the outside. <laughs> and this is they removed that with Batman here. Which I appreciate, it makes him look cooler. But I never done it with Superman. And you see him in blue suit with blue the red underwear on just looks makes him look ridiculous. As well the hair. Like I think it would I think I, I seen Smallville and like Superman there more, since he dressed regularly. Here's something with his suit that makes it hard to take him serious. He, uh, he can't get to us in here, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, like like uh, how many people, or like like I've been told, many people don't get Superman. A lot of writers also don't get him. Yeah, like I, I get the struggle he has. Just they really give him the worst outfit and hairstyle of all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just interesting. Just, there's just so much dialogue in these games. It just sucks here. Yeah, it is Christmas. True. <laughs> Yet. Wait, does this maybe accidentally do a... Christmas special d before Halloween. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh no. Black masks, men. I'll make them tell me where I can find black masks. And uh, yeah, notice how that has just been torn open. Oh, like me on the full moon. <laughs> and now, yep. Now we're getting into the main meat of this series. Well, one of the main meets, the combat. Okay. Blue lightning bolts means someone is about to hit you, so you can counter them. Yeah. Like that. Actually, hasn't DC actually been kicking really well with games on, like, Marvel? Yeah. I'll need to double check on that. Yeah, no, there's only one problem. I think most of the successful games are mostly Batman. Yeah. Where's Black Mask? How the hell should I know? I'm going to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. Screw you! I don't have time for this. Okay, okay. He said it's in an execution chamber. <laughs> With Lobe. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. Okay. No, oh, we have our objective and ooh. Someone tried to break that open. And yeah, we get experience for winning combat encounters, which will be useful later. Whoever's controlling it is quite skilled with controllers <laughs> doing it around in these small spaces. Small, small-ish. It seems like these are not going to be responding. Oop. Here we go. Just simple. Counter them when they come for us. And when we have an opening, take the offensive. And yeah, th these fights can get quite fun. I should use my grapple gun to get over this gate. Yep. That will be one of the main ways we'll be getting around places in this series. And yeah, when, it, when we can grapple to somewhere, it'll show up like that. Even if it's not always in sight. And there we go with that one. Yeah, armored ones we need to stun and then we can <laughs> get the beat down on him. That, that makes sense. And um, oh brother, what was that villain's name? The croc guy. Killer croc. Straightforward. Yep, 
yeah, detective vision is going to take up a good chunk of the other half of this game's gameplay. And they'll let us, well, explore around, investigate things. And there we go. Hello. There we go. We can counter right in the middle of attacks. Or we can, well, beat them to their own attacks. Oop. And there we go. Hello, Vicky. Please, we don't want any trouble. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. I, I don't recognize Black Moss. There are probably a lot of villains I've never heard of. Yeah, Black Moss. That is, that is also something fun with these games. They bring out a lot of known characters, but also a lot of lesser known characters, like, well, Black Mask. Just double checking so we don't get anything on our head. I can use my explosive gel to break through. And yeah, since this is the third game in the series, a lot of this stuff is being uh, handled a bit quickly. Yeah, we can get. We, do. we have explosive gel that we can. Uh, we hope we can stick to places. And detonate with middle mouse button. That can be used in combat as well. Let's see, what have we here? I've played through all of these four games from the start to end. So. I forgot that these were a thing, but, but yeah, I've played all of these games from the start to finish. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to be through all of them. It's just going to be a bit weird with how we'll be starting with the technically third game, which will have a bit more uh, tricks up its sleeves than the first and second that we'll be playing after. Hello. Where the heck did he la land? <laughs> All the there. way over there. Okay, as long as they're standing or trying to get up, we can we can select them for an attack. Oh. Okay, now it's the cinematic finisher this time. Uh, hello, Blackie. Oh no, it's just one of your goons. The black mask is wearing a white suit, not a black one like that. There we go. Another just quick little spammer. A lot of uh, calendars here. Uh, Let's okay. see. Okay. Uh, uh, I see here already. This is Calendar Man's cell. You can guess where he gets the name from. In the calendars? Uh, okay. Uh, the calendar's man uh, thing is that he kills or commits crimes fitting to, well, days on the calendar, holidays and such. Oh. Uh, and, yeah. We can't get hurt by this ourselves, but we can... <laughs> Caused them quite a headache. I was <laughs> wrong button. But let's just give him double a headache. Let's 
place is a bit cathedral-like in some places. But, yeah, we can quickly throw those out. There we go. Yeah, just double tap. Yeah, just tap this, and we'll just start throwing these. Also usable in in, yeah, in combat as a bit of an extender. Let's see, what is this here? Medical checkup before execution week of December or twenty one December. A branchy uh, checked by R Rick. And Sinski, Calendar Man, uh, Autopsy Schedule, A. Bronzy, Rick, and... Okay, Calendar Man hasn't been executed yet. And, yeah, these games are filled with Easter eggs and references. Like some of the Easter eggs will be that uh, stuff you can find in the environment will be references to actual characters from the comics and such, not just Batman comics, I believe. Oh, what? I well, I don't know enough about the entire franchise to catch most of them, though. What's all this about? Starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What's all this about, Cyanus? Haven't I always come through yep. for you? I'm guessing that was a bit of a glitch. <laughs> Hello. Okay, deal with these two first. Yeah, like I said, I'm more, I think I know more Marvel than DC. Because it's kind of sad enough. But I do respect both for different reasons. Yeah. Like, they have some good, uh, good characters and all that. Yeah, I know more about Marvel as well. Not just because of the MCU and such. And can we deactivate this? Yeah. I think I think there is they whenever you think of DC, they it seems that they focus way more on Batman and it's mostly the Batman movies that be successful. That though, yeah. I love Superman, but it's been a bit mixed with the Superman movies apparently. And, uh, yeah, what I did with the last one there was using the combo takedown. Basically, if you get enough hits in an, on enemies without getting hit yourself, you can, well, instantly take down any enemy, which will be very useful with certain enemy types, because some are a lot more dangerous than the armor and normal guys. Oh, dear. Uh, actually, I'm kind of glad that the have actually tried to branch on to the other heroes, like Aquaman and uh, uh, Wonder Woman. I heard there was supposed to be a Wonder Woman game releasing. I almost forgot that. I know the Wonder Woman I saw first time was good, the new one. But the second one that came out recently, they apparently flopped. Yeah. Badly. Basically, everything that was good with the first movie was basically retconned out into something less favorable yeah that, that's plenty of what i've heard of that of the uh, wonder woman 88 was it or this the second recent one yeah, yeah. B basically it, it's stupid and, and not in a comic book uh, stupid way in just a plain stupid way yeah i think i've heard people from the sjw warning on that because i've taken it with a grain of salt since i have not seen it but I also heard something 
I really hope it's not true that Wonder Woman in that movie grabbed the man and did the R word. Yeah. Because I hope it's just a saturation. Could be. I've heard. I know about it, but I don't know the full details of it. Yeah, I, I cannot. I cannot too afraid to watch it. Mostly because I don't want it to too much of what I've been hearing to be true, since that will just be so disrespectful for the character. Okay, we can evade with space. Yeah, red <laughs> red lightning bolts is get out uh, get out the way. Yeah, bloody heck, he's huge. Yeah. And he's supposed to have a tail? Nope. Not yet, at right. least. Because this is yeah. early on, still. Ooh. Yeah, we would have... We got the lighter hit there by getting punched instead of that thing thrown at us. Yeah, he's going to charge. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Okay, just launch, launch that guy into the stratosphere. Okay, get out of the way. Get close. Stun. And just beat on his egg pack. Oh. Uh. Come on. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Oh, come on, that was a cheap hit. Come on. There we go. One of those hit him. Uh, I, I, after this, I'm going to probably see if there's any info in this Wonder Woman game for... I hope they do that one justice and do good. Okay, timer's going off, so let's finish off this fight. Or get killed and then we'll move on to the uh, to the next game yep there we go boss where's he going the boss of me is me one teeth i want answers Assassins get through with you. What assassin? <laughs> Whoever wins is gonna be famous. At least we know he won't be ugly. Freeze! Hold it right there! We're taking you in. Not tonight. Uh, Batman with all of his bat toys, huh? No such thing as a Batman, eh? I think I recognize the guy on the right. I think he actually... I think he appears through the other games as well. And the comics. Hmm. I want to know Gordon. Are you back for the night, sir? Okay. But yeah, like I said at the start, this is a definite yes. <laughs> Definitely, yes, indeed. It will be a bit quirky because, like I said, it's the third game in the series, or uh, even though it is the first chronologically, so it'll start with some things, with uh, the assumption that you know some things already for the combat and such. For now, we're moving to the fourth, and by looking at the timer, last game for tonight. Oh, well, t today. There we go. EA game. Uh oh. And dice. Yeah, EA, it's already you know, enough all of this shit they've you know, done. And dice has, well, been dragged down with it. But yeah, this game is still good. Battlefield Bad Company 2. So, 
It's uh, recommended for new shooter players. Let's start on normal and get started. Let's see. Autumn 1944, Sea of Japan. Not long before the atomic bomb would bring an end to World War II, a small group of U.S. commandos were sent in to extract a Japanese scientist with war decisive information. On the 6th of October at 0600 hours, Operation Aurora commenced 20 minutes over, and 20 minutes later it was over. The fate of Operation Aurora was kept from the public, all records were destroyed, it became a myth. This is what really happened that day. got V2s. The Japs have got to have something too. Here for the scientist. That is it. Hey, able squad's ready, Sarge. Okay. Start the engine. It's not actually letting me look around. Also, All just right. a thought. I'm pretty sure the atomic bomb was kept a secret until it was dropped on uh, Japan. So, oh uh, well. This this is Black Ops off the records anyway. So, could have been that some people were told some things. I only caught one word of that, and that's Arigato. And everyone who's heard a bit of Japanese probably knows what that means. It's our apology. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh, my God. It's, it's, a, it's a thank you, yes. And Abel's been disabled. Started yet, Sarge. They said 0600. Right on down. Hope it worked. And they can take what we're throwing at them now. They can keep the defector. Let's get moving. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that after they were just found two. Uh, dinghies full of infiltrators that they would go on high alert. So having an actual air raid going on to distract from that would be a smart idea. Holy... Uh, okay, I, I, I mean, need, I'm going to need to be honest here. I never liked Battlefield, Medal of Honor, 
or Blood of Desert Third one ate it. And Call of Duty. Middle... Call of Duty. I never liked them. I tried them as a kid and a teenager or such, but I could not get into them. Have you even tried to watch a YouTube play it? And this still didn't work. Uh, okay, that bit glitchy there. He pretty sure he was supposed to be on top of the soldier there. But uh, yeah, the World War II shooters aren't for everyone. Yeah, and it also feels like the only way they had to they had to keep the games popular was the introduction of zombies and paranormal. But it's also feel like me from outside perspective that they were running out of believable scenarios for the players to play as. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely say this about Call of Duty. I, I played from this original one, but after Modern Warfare 2, the first one, because there's a new Modern Warfare 2 being released uh, recently, I'll definitely say they, yeah, they, if the quality just started dropping like a, a lead ball. Yeah. And also, was it one of them extremely huge to install, like 300 gig? more good chance of that let's see okay we have two rifles now this thing looks a bit like a sten but more uh functional yeah i have to say this if you if you're making a game that's over 300 gigabyte you're doing something wrong yeah then then you're just really failing with optimization in, at something like arc like, Ark yeah. is enjoyable mostly, but it's just so fucking big of a uh, file that it just becomes cumbersome to play. Yeah, and that's mostly because the early team were doing new stuff so much that they didn't take time to optimize it properly. And then when the new team came in to try to fix it and work more, since the first team went to work on Atlas, yeah, they had to fix a lot of the books with duct tape, basically, and they they were they were going to say that they have been trying to optimize it as much as possible, but it's almost impossible. For the early team made such a mess that if they tried, it would break the game even more. Yeah, just as you said, bug. I'm pretty sure Japanese soldiers have poofed out of existence there. Oh dear. But yeah, at least uh, you can understand Ark. At least the, at least the, you can say you can see why it happened, and the, the uh, at least you can minimize it by not adding too many of the DLCs and all that. But it's still about one about one hundred gig. Yeah. I have it on a separate but, hard drive just because it takes up so much damn space. Yeah, and it was at the start it was only about six, 60 gig or so, but uh, the core game will take in the other DLC stuff as well, mobs and all that. Hence why it's about 120. So it's, it's sunrise already. Is that a Spitfire? Maybe? But yeah, I, I hope Orc 2 with the Unreal Engine will be more optimized since the team at least now know what they are doing. Yeah, not just patching things together. Yeah, for an earlier team uh, making a mess. Let's find this guy. Another game I have that is is 112 gig is to the Warhammer 3, but that one makes sense since it's one, one, two, and three in one. So that's basically three games in one. And you not you don't need to have the other two installed, you need to own them, 
as I understand it. But if you need the other two to install to play in Mortal Empires, is that just uh, bad? Yeah. Sound, your voice is really low. Who is my favorite baseball player? Chuck Thompson. Great. Let's get him out of here. Hang on a sec. The hell was that sound? What's he saying? Or I, don't, I don't know, sir. I could, could... If you sold us out. Through the sub then. It's a goddamn death trap. Yeah, I know. So, which of these four are we, actually? Yeah. And they're sort of you know, they're intentionally whispering all the time. If I like, heard a complaint about this game on, about being the whisper simulator or something. Move, move, move. <laughs> but again, yeah. 120 and 100 gig is acceptable to some degree says again sound of that at all just keep moving it just depends you, on the game yeah in the orcs case if you don't haven't bought any dlc is it will be around 100 but then it's those extra gig all from adding patches with all the dlc creatures so if you don't have the other maps you can still sheet them in without crashing the game yeah, it's it's the maps that is most of the size, I believe. Yeah, like so, some of the free maps are very small. Like the center is like five gig, but uh, yeah, the biggest oh, one 40. of those. What? Others oh, are like forty. Yeah, I think the, the Lost Island is like sixty-six gig. And that one I installed when I realized how big that was. Oh, that's the other problem. And I not even installed the DLC maps that you pay for. I'm pretty sure I don't but have a yeah, single one of those. Yeah, I recommend you to not get aberration either, since yeah, probably not a good idea. However, let me say this again. There is zero reason to have a game over 300 gig. Yeah. Like, it is. Especially. Hard drives are getting. Uh, hard. hard I, I'm, I'm blanking a bit on the moment if it's a hard disk or hard drive. But they are getting cheaper. But still, it, it's just. If you need a new hard drive just for a new game to be added, you're doing something wrong. Yeah. Uh, actually. I'm gonna have to ask a friend this. For I think it was more than 300 gig. Oh Too no, much, I think I remember now. Shortly, yeah, simply put. Oh no, I think I remember now. It was 600. Simply put, way too freaking many. <laughs> yeah, and then you have to ask. How? When this game even came out, that one makes you wonder how long did people have to wait to download it? <laughs> For good luck having 600 gig on CD. Yeah, that would that would. I forget how big you can make, you know, how much you can fit on a DVD these days, but probably not that much. Yeah, like, like we have games in post like Bonus Game where you have up to five CDs, but that would make sense if it was in front, but. I don't think Call of Duty and those games would work well for having five separate CDs. And is it 600? Oh boy, that's probably gonna be like 20 CDs or more. Yeah, back in the day with Baldur's Gate, it was just CDs and not DVDs, which have a smaller uh, capacity. Oh, true. But still, 
Oh, bloody heck. I, I'm gonna double check with the friend. I think he remember He... It was unacceptable. I, I had to tell him. But that was... I think that was the size... Without KDLCs. And I think it was yeah. the one that flopped the hardest. Okay, yeah, this is turning into a major battle with ships outside, even. Yeah. Actually, when I think about it, I think that's probably even why people are getting more interested in uh, indie games. Yeah, that and just... It's being revealed more and more that big companies are, are basically just big-ass assholes with everything as well. Okay. TNT. Yeah. Knock, knock. And sometimes it's... It it can be the developer or even sometimes even more commonly the publishers putting the press on the developers. This can end up uh, going badly. Yeah, crunch and such. Yep, like... Uh, uh, we're gonna use Cyberpunk as an example. The development team knew it was not ready and then protested in releasing it. But they ended up having to release it anyway and we all know what happened there. Yeah. Uh, cute. But, yeah. Uh, again, and also I think like many indie, indie developers know that not everyone wanna sit forever to download a game. And they wanna yeah. try to optimize as much as possible. It probably may, means that many indie game publishers a bit more humane. Yeah, there's still there's still the bad apples here and there, like people who just take the money and run. But yeah, yeah with you're going to have stuff like that eventually, anyways. With just how yeah. many people are in the game industry. Yeah, actually, when you said that, I'm gonna have to, I think I told you about this before. Orc was not Wildcard's first game. Okay. It was not the first dinosaur game. It was Stomping Lands. And uh, it yeah. happened... Ex it, it, they were working hard and suddenly all the money was gone. And they realized their boss had taken all the money and ran off. Yeah. So, yeah, they... Hence why Ork was born. It was born on the same console of Tiny Dimes, Dinosaurs, but instead of being a K-Man... You were, yeah, on a um, space island and all. Okay, so that's Wyatt. The short hair one. Uh, you guys better get inside quick. Uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest here, this first part isn't really interesting because the, the big thing with Bad Company 1 and 2 is the characters and, well, those weren't the main characters. And looks like Russia's up to shit in this world as well. Lot of shit. <laughs> Almost even that alone makes me want to say we should not be streaming this. Okay, now we should be getting to the actual main characters. 20 minutes in. Yeah, but I, even I, I usually try to be quiet on a uh, few scenes, but I actually did not care for that tutorial level. Yeah, like I said, it's not the main characters and they're not the main draw. It... There we were. Yep. Bad company. We were here in Russian territory to back up a US counterintelligence operation. A 
simple support mission, they say. Nothing's ever really that simple, though. Is it? I can't believe you're leading us through another minefield, Haggis. You all are some stupid people. Hey, what's the foreman down there? Marlowe. How much time? And off say five. No problem. We're there in three. Uh, I'm pretty sure you want to be looking for more than just one mine. GPS is getting no strikes on our guy down there. Are you sure he's here, Sarge? Yeah. If HQ didn't fuck us with old intel. What are the odds of that? Whatever. We're almost clear. Any up. Eep. <laughs> almost. Yeah, he got real freaking lucky with that because probably that's a fresh mine. Otherwise, it would be a lot deeper in the slur in the snow. Holy! We're gonna need to deal with them sooner or later. Sooner, well, then sooner it is. Go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, XM8S. I forgot it does that <laughs> when you find new weapons and such. What the heck? That That's horrible. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that was way, way too cheesy for me. Wait, wait. Patrol. Oh my god. Uh, this game has a lot of cheese, I'll just say that. Yeah, I have a feeling we, we're not going to make a series of this. Uh, I want to give it a shot at some point. It's, it's just that the first 20 minutes of this game is bleh. Very bleh. And again, uh, yeah, as I said before, I have tried and I just can't get behind this. Well, so much for support. <laughs> okay, we're unfucking this situation ourselves. Wouldn't need to if we took the shot. Just move. Okay, Bravo 2, you are weapon free. Assault through to the target vehicle. Okay. Oh, grenade mode. Yeah, this will show what one of the main features is with this game. And that's environmental destruction. So if we put, yeah. Uh, uh, wait, we really got killed that quick? Okay. Are you sure you want to stream this? Uh. Oh, I see why. That's, that's, <laughs> that that turret is bloody manned. Yeah, of course it's going to be dealing out a lot of damage then. Okay. Okay, we got the, we got him with the the grenade there. Uh, yeah, one of the major things in this game is that you can actually destroy the environment, or at least buildings. 
And Dear. yeah, simple to say, in multiplayer, there was a lot of fun to be had with that. I believe it's still present in some of the more recent... Oh. In some of the more recent Battlefield games, but uh, also r lacking in a lot of them. You... <laughs> okay, we could see that one coming. Would that have been any lower? No, that's one of ours. Oh, there you are. There you were. But uh, yeah, with, yeah, with you being able to blow up you know, the environment to a degree, that also means that you can destroy your enemy's cover. But yours can also be destroyed in turn. Oh, grenade. Oh, he... <laughs> He's just having a lay down. But uh, yeah, if if we do stream this, we might put it on easy then. Or oh, very easy. But yeah, you're not supposed to go rushing out forwards like it's Call of Duty. Let's put one in there. Yep. I, <laughs> I put it through instead of in. It, really? Yeah, definitely moving this to easy if we do it. Yeah, do we? We should probably do it way further in the line, considering uh, current current situation or world, you know. Uh, maybe. For now, though, we've hit the timer again. But yeah, but it's it's not a bad game. I definitely want to do it eventually. It's just that uh, yeah, that first start is rather crappy. And most, most of the fun in that game is comes actually from the characters, when they're not whispering everything. Okay. As again, whisper simulator. <laughs> I'll there's see there's if I can fix some I, things on it. Yeah, I feel like I heard someone call it that. Unless it's just my own brain playing tricks on me. Like, mm. sometimes you, your brain give you a false memory. True. For now, let's go look for someone to raid. Let's see, which also means that, <clears throat> pardon, are we swapping this screen share to this so you can look along? Uh, let's see, did, did I send out? Yes, that's the correct one. Okay, let's see. None of the people I know are online, it seems. So let's look at the recommended. We have the, the, the Quickmind, who is streaming XCOM UFO Defense. Uh, X Chronicles, that's probably a mod. Then we have that Conrad Zimmerman. We've raided them a few times, I think. Who is playing Spelunky 2. Uh, Bluffy Microwave. Okay. <laughs> Streaming Stay Out of the House. Can't say I've heard of that ever before. And let's see. Midgeman, who is streaming... Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. I, I applied for the closed beta with that, but I'm not sure if I... I haven't heard anything of that bef uh, since. Uh, two of my friends did get into it, though. So maybe I should just go pester them to see if they know a thing or two of it. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the full release of that game. And then we have... Doggett Douglas McDog. <laughs> okay. Who is streaming Tomb Raider? Any of those are interesting, or shall we go look at the bigger ones as well? Hmm. Maybe the one with Tomb Raider, or else we could check the bigger ones. Uh, let's see. I'm skipping that one because, uh, yeah, screw Blizzard, screw Overwatch 2, uh, No Man's Sky, Team Fortress Wait. 2. What? Did something happen with Overwatch 2? Two, two? Well, for one, that they killed off the... Yeah, it, uh, the thing with Overwatch 2 is that it's not a true sequel. It's basically a big update to the first game. And, well, you know Blizzard has been... <laughs> Blizzard just keeps getting themselves into scandals. And one of those is that for people wanting to play Overwatch 2 on PC, uh, they want people to give up their phone numbers, supposedly... Uh, to help reduce toxicity, 
but you can bet your ass that they'll be selling those numbers on to spam callers and such. So yeah, fuck Overwatch Two. <laughs> it's yeah, I, I, I heard rumors that the, the team that had a special a separate company for the team for Overwatch Two tried to stay out as from the scandal as possible and tried to keep Blizzard out of the office out of possible for they don't want any scandals. I mean, what you're saying sounds like they did get in and mess things up. Yeah, many also of the them fact... did. Say... Uh, sorry, go on. Uh, you may, you can go on first. I was say I think I re recall the many of them members some year ago that were working with us too, saying they were ready to leave the company. Yeah. If Blizzard started to uh, feel too much with them, and I, from what the song you're singing, I feel like they may end up, end up having to done that. Yeah, there's also the fact that they shut down Overwatch One, and yeah, again, it it's not a it's not work. A lot of people are saying it's not worthy to be called a sequel, since uh, there were changes, there are new characters and such, but uh, yeah, bes those new characters could just have been added on to Overwatch One instead, and any graphical upgrades has mostly been minor lighting things, from all I've heard. So yeah, definitely not worth the time, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I used to love Blizzard, but yeah, I ever since I saw Diablo Four trailer, not you didn't have the same feeling anymore. Yeah, I, I'd say around uh, Diablo Three. You could probably have called the company to change to be called by that name anymore, uh, like yeah. Infinity Ward after Modern Warfare Two. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's sad. I used to like them. Uh, yeah, so definitely avoided that. Shall we just go join the uh, raid, the Tomb Raider one then? Yeah, I guess we might as well. Uh, either the, the Tomb Raider one or the one uh, Conrad. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> Dogat Douglas McDog is a new one, so we'll give them a shot. And it seems that I still need to continue some changes to the, the, my <laughs> my model here because I can see that a uh, little bit of the shirt still clipping through the coat. I thought I'd fix that, but apparently not. Oh, I where? Uh, underneath my chin at the moment, you can stick see the uh, the folded bits sticking through the coat. I think. Oh. I did not notice that. Yeah, I noticed that a few times, and it's been just annoying. And yeah, I'll just I'll just need to tinker around more to fix that. Anyways, though, uh, yeah, enough about Blizzard and such. We will be raiding Dogat Douglas McDog, so let's get that started. And yeah, a good set of games today. Bastion Arkham will be doing those for certain. Basing Stoke and Bad Company too. Uh, I'll put those down. Uh, Basing stuff we could maybe do on Saturdays or just as a side thing because there there isn't much of a story between each mission and such. It's mostly just getting from point A to point B. Uh, could do it as a relaxed stream or something. And yeah, Bad Company too. I'll just have to see more about that some other time. Yeah, maybe I, I solo streams. That yeah, yeah, that solo stream will maybe. Okay, for all we know, for... Uh, I was say, for all we know, EA might do something that makes you not want to touch it. Yeah. Anyways, though, for now, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And uh, yeah, thank you as always, Drakira. You're welcome as always, my friend. And next time I'll be able to stream, I'll need to double check. Uh, maybe tomorrow in the afternoon. Uh, but we'll be continuing with No One List Forever then. But until then, thank you all again for watching, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for floating skulls.